Hey everyone, Cody here, and the title of today's video is How to Buy a Painting Online. Now, I know that sounds kind of weird, and it's not the type of typical painting, or sorry, it's not the, the typical type of video that I tend to do. I do the, the painting tutorials, but the reason I'm doing this video is because I, I see a lot of people who are interested in buying art, and then they want to buy it but they don't really know where to go and and we'll start kind of with the galleries and stuff but a lot of them want to go to a gallery but then they'll go maybe to a gallery or they'll kind of peruse um, our fair or festival or something and they'll look at the prices and a lot of times in festivals or art fairs or galleries the price is going to be more than what that artist would normally charge for the work because there is a commission that has to be paid or they have to pay for the the space that they're renting so they really have to try to sell that art um, in order to recoup those costs whereas if you just bought it directly from the artist um, you can tend to get the same artwork but for less because you're getting it direct i mean it's just like any other business um, today we're going to talk about how to buy a painting online because those same people that i was talking about that kind of get lost in it then they just get discouraged and then they just see their buy really cheap art like they'll just buy you know something from Ross or something um, which no offense to anyone who does prints but it, I think it's great if you can support an actual artist with original artwork you can buy prints totally your call but I just think that live uh, sorry original artwork is it's just nice and, and it really feels good as an artist to sell an original piece but so what we're gonna talk about how to buy original artwork in this video um, I could do another video about how to buy, you know, prints and stuff like that, but it's a whole really different ball game. So today we're going to talk about just artwork. So here's what what you can do. Let's the easy one is just you know you can start with an art gallery near you, right? You could do art gallery near me. Um, I live in I live in Peoria, Arizona, but uh, Phoenix is close by, so that's probably why Phoenix came up in the uh, the listings. But anyway, so. You can start with an art gallery, right? And art galleries are great. I think that they're really cool because I love going into galleries and just kind of walking around. And I actually have bought a piece of artwork from a gallery. Um, now that I think about it, and I totally forgot I bought this. Um, but the, the artwork is actually a really cool painted metal painting of like a sunset and some mountains and stuff. And uh, I actually forgot I had even purchased that so long. It has been years. But I actually went into a gallery that uh, this guy and his wife ran. They do these painted metal uh, like wall designs and stuff like that. And I I saw it and I bought it. Like I, I, I bought it that day on Instinct. It was like $150 or something like that. So it wasn't like cheap cheap, but it also had a little bit of heft in the price at least for the size that it was. Um, and I, you know what? I think galleries work. Um, however, if you buy a piece of artwork from a gallery, you're going to pay more than you would buying it directly from that artist because, again, the gallery is going to take a, a large cut of that price, so they generally raise the price so that the artist still makes the same amount. Or you might pay what the artist would normally pay, but that artist is probably only going to get half, or they might get more than half if they have some kind of deal with whoever uh, is running that gallery. But my point is, is that if you have galleries near you, try to buy from a gallery if they're close by, if you can see the artwork firsthand, because really seeing an artwork firsthand, a painting especially, seeing that firsthand is different than seeing pictures or videos. You could see my painting videos, you could see the pictures of my paintings, but it's not the same unless if you see it in, in, uh, up close. It's just like, you know, a lot of people talk about Jackson Pollock's work, and it's easy to criticize it if you've never stood in front of it and just kind of seen the massive scale of, of those paintings and how intricate they are and stuff like that so it's just a different feeling to see things as it is to experience them so if you can and and you get that emotion great if not if you want to buy online because you kind of want to search you know the web and, and really the world to find that that perfect piece of art then more power to you so let's start right now so let's skip the whole gallery thing um and we're going to talk about three real ways that you can buy a painting online. Um, so we're going to kind of cover them. And essentially they are these three. One is through marketplaces, which we'll go over. Two is through 
online galleries, and then three is directly from the artist. And I will say right off the bat, directly from the artist is the best solution. However, uh, that's not always possible. Or maybe the art that you're looking for, you just you don't know of an artist that makes that type of art, so you don't know where to search. So let's jump into it, and we'll kind of cover each one. So the first um, the first kind of place that you can buy art is from a marketplace. And what do I mean by that? Well, essentially, a marketplace is just exactly what it sounds like. An online marketplace is something like Amazon or eBay or Etsy, where multiple vendors sell multiple products all the time, right? And so a marketplace is where, you know, multiple vendors will sell all kinds of different products. So just like you see right here on the homepage of, you know, of Amazon, you can see they, they sell knives and these magic cards, because my kids play magic, so uh, these magic cards, and then they have, I don't even know what that is, some kitchen thing and a blanket, I guess, and whatever that is. So a marketplace is just this kind of thing, right? And I could put original painting, and I don't know how to spell, but the, the problem with this is, is that you're going to get all kinds of different things mixed in, right? So you've got paint supplies with prints of art with also whatever this stuff is. So you get what I'm saying. So you're not just buying art. So you're really just on a marketplace where you might get decent art, but it's really hard to tell on Amazon what you're really getting because you could get an original painting, but I don't know of a lot of artists that sell their work through Amazon because Amazon is more for, you know, products that can be mass produced. I mean, that's really what it's for. So the, the problem with this is that if you buy on Amazon, you're not getting the experience of buying that art directly where you're going to enjoy that experience because it came from somewhere that tailors in art. You're just going to buy it and it's really just going to be another transaction for Amazon and for you. It, it's not really going to, like their support staff isn't geared towards art. Um, the products on here, a lot of them are more um, reprints of things than they are originals. You know, it's it's just, that's the, the nature of Amazon. So you definitely can, and you might find some decent art, but Amazon really isn't built for artists to sell art on. Again, it's more, it's more structured, is the best word I can think of, to sell mass-produced goods. So it's almost like a Walmart, but online. So essentially, I would say you can try a marketplace like Amazon, but I wouldn't recommend it. eBay... Uh, is a similar thing. I've tried to sell art on eBay and it just they just didn't sell at all. And I've even tried to sell them at like a, a bargain price, so to speak, and they still don't sell. See, the thing with eBay is that a lot of people come into the site, look, that's that's distracting me, that scrolling thing. So I guess today is uh, Star Wars or something. I don't know. I don't know that. Anyway, eBay is really built for people looking for a bargain. So if you're looking to buy stuff like art, you can buy art on eBay, and I've seen some decent pieces, but really, again, eBay isn't really built for that. eBay is built for cheap items or at least items that, you know, have some kind of value that that person bought low and now they're selling high. It's not really, again, catered to selling or buying art. So just the policies and the procedures and the whole feel of the website, you just... It's not like you're going for art, like you, just like this page that you see before you. You could be going for Lego stuff. You could buy, you know, pick up Legos and old tennis shoes, and you know, you could get, uh, you know, I don't know, whatever thing on here, and a painting. Like it, it just feels weird to me to try to buy something as nice as original art from a site that sells bargains. You know what I mean? So this is another example of a marketplace. You can find stuff on here, and if you're looking to get it at a low price, you definitely can. So you can find some low-priced art, um, and that's probably most of what you'll find is people who sell low-priced art to get a sale. Now, the quality of that art couldn't say because that person's trying to make a profit, so if they're already selling it cheap, I'm just going to leave it at that. Now, lastly is Etsy. Etsy is still a marketplace because you can see that they sell different things, wedding supplies, home and living supplies, toys and entertainment. However, Etsy began initially for artists, and it still mostly is for artists. They've kind of branched out, and I'm sure that has to do with money, but mostly it's still people creating unique items um, that they're selling through their Etsy shop. Okay, 
Etsy, I would say, is better than the other two because Etsy is geared towards people making things and selling things themselves as opposed to mass produce. Now, is some of the stuff on the site mass produce? I'm sure it is because, I mean, it's that's just the nature of these things, right? Um, but my point is, is that Etsy is better because this is actually where I've seen a lot of decent art. Um, if you go into, let's see, art and collectibles, and then if you go into paintings, you can actually see that that's actually a large subcategory. And coming into it, you can actually see that there is some pretty cool art. And a lot of it is original. Some people do prints. Some people do, um, you know, original art. Like this thing is pretty cool, actually. I, I like that a lot. I like squares. I don't know what it is, but that's pretty cool. Like I like that. And it looks like, you know, this is an original painting, I'm assuming. So, yeah, stretch, drawn, stretch. So... That's cool. Like, you know, you can actually find some really decent art on Etsy. So Etsy, I actually would approve of. Wouldn't approve of the other two, but but Etsy, I would. Okay. So if you're looking for some medium priced art, and what I mean by that is probably in the hundreds, um, this is probably a good place to start. And I have sold on Etsy. I've never, or I've listed on Etsy, but I've never sold on Etsy. Okay. Because it's a decent site. It's just, it's hard for me to keep up with multiple sites. So I just kind of got away from it. Um, but I would say if you want to start somewhere, start with Etsy, if your price range is below a thousand. Okay. Next, we're going to move into online galleries. Now an online gallery, and I'm going to, I'm going to switch over. Online galleries are exactly what they sound like. So instead of being a physical gallery somewhere, it's an online gallery. So again, artists will list their their paintings for free or their art, you know, sculptures, whatever, photography. They'll list their, their products for free, their paintings, and uh, and then once it sells, then the site gets a cut of it. But it's not as large as an actual gallery, so it's like, it's kind of in between, you know, it's like in between having your own site or listing on like Etsy or something and, you know, an actual gallery. So it's kind of in that middle ground, and I, I actually like it. So I actually am on Saatchi Art. You can see right here, that I do have a profile and I do have my artworks um, uploaded to Saatchi Art because I do I do like Saatchi Art and I've sold on Saatchi Art. And it looks like my products aren't loading. There it goes. Good old Pollock style. Look at that. It's got to take it forever to load. Anyway, my point is is that um, if you start if you do an online gallery, you are going to probably pay a little bit more than you would buying directly from the artist. However, the advantage to an online gallery, say, like Saatchi Art, is that you can really niche down what you're looking for. So you can start with paintings, and let's say we want to do abstract, right? So that we choose abstract, but then from there, we can kind of really narrow it down. Like, okay, we got abstract here, but do we want an abstract abstract or abstract nature, abstract landscape? Let's say landscape, you know, depending on what you're looking for. So then we kind of move into, do we want acrylic? Do we want uh, gesso? What do we want? So then let's do acrylic, okay. And then uh, then for the price, you can choose the range, 500 to 1,000, perfect. So now you've got a whole list of, uh, I like that one. Um, now you've got a whole list of you know, paintings that you could choose from. So the reason I'm showing all this is because you can go to a gallery like this, an online gallery, and you can really kind of niche it down to find you know, a piece of artwork that interests you. And then what you can do is you can actually just kind of make a list of artists that you find on here that you like their work and then try to find them elsewhere. Or you can, you know, look through their work um, here on Saatchi Art or whatever. My point is, is that with going to an online gallery, it's basically like going to a gallery, but like a thousand times better because you can see so many different artists and you can really niche down what you're looking for. So if you're looking for a specific style or uh, a size or a price or something like that, you can really narrow it down. So Saatchi Art is one of them, just SaatchiArt.com. Um, and then there's also Art Finder is another one. Um, I'm not listed on Art Finder, although I will be applying pretty soon. Um, Art Finder, it's just ArtFinder.com. Art Finder, Art Finder, and then the other one is Zatista. So Zatista.com. Um, they're all very similar. I've never used either one of these. Like, I've never sold out of these because you have to be approved for these, and I, I just haven't been approved yet, or I haven't actually applied yet. I probably will um, in the near future. But 
I am on such art. So my point is, is that they're all very similar. You can start with any one of them. Um, but it, if even if you did buy from such art, you could at least go onto these sites to to kind of really niche down some some picks. And then let's say you found a, a painting you like. This one I think is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and click on this person's name, and we can see their artworks here. So EV Kit, it's a cool name. I like it. And you can really just kind of niche it down and look at some of these. Uh, paintings that she has and it looks like some of the pictures aren't loading so maybe it's, maybe they're doing some maintenance on their site or something but anyway the artwork is very cool I like it a lot and going in there you can kind of get an idea of this person's work and if you like their work then you can buy it from here if you don't like the work you can go back to your search results and find somebody else but if you do like their work then you can kind of move on from the online gallery. So you can buy from the gallery, and I'm sure they want you to. Um, but let's say that you find this person, you really like their work. My suggestion would to be just buy from them directly if they have a website or social media. Now, you can just buy from the gallery. Here's the advantage to buying from the online gallery, like say Saatchi Art. Saatchi Art is very strict on their policies and procedures. So like when I ship an artwork through Saatchi Art, it's different than the way I would ship an artwork normally through my own website. Because my policies, you know, I can kind of really do what I want. I still take care of the customer, of course, but it's not as strict. And going through Saatchi Art, they literally tell you exactly how to ship your product. So like, and, and if it gets broken or damaged because you didn't follow their strict guidelines, like then you don't get paid. And it sounds bad, but it's really to ensure that the buyer gets what they want and they don't have issues. So it's really to protect the buyer. It's, it's really good actually for the buyer. And I say a lot of people complain, but I just don't see why, because it's really to protect the buyer and you want that person to have a good experience. If you were going to buy an artwork, you would want to have a good experience. So if you're going to buy from an online gallery, that is kind of the upside. You might pay a little bit more, but you're also getting, you know, you're kind of getting that quality assurance directly from the gallery because the gallery is representing you. So it is pretty good. Um, but let's say you wanted to buy from them um, directly, or maybe they don't have work here, but you want to talk to them about doing a specific type of work. Well, then you can kind of look at their social media here. So let's say we go to uh, their website. So we're going to open that in a new tab. Okay, well that's not uh, that's not in English. Oh, they're not found. Okay, well, so it looks like her social media stuff has been deleted. Um, I don't know if maybe she just doesn't use it anymore and she kind of got away from it. Maybe something happened. Couldn't say. But because we didn't find it, we could just buy it through Saatchi Art if we wanted to support this person. Now, let's say that you clicked on the website or the Instagram page or whatever and it actually did come up with the result. So here's my website, and I'm not trying to hard sell you, so don't worry, I'm, I'm not like secretly, discreetly trying to sell you by showing you my website. It's not even that great, right? It's very simple, I've got some testimonials, I've got some special offers, and I've got just a little blurb. Very clean, but my point is, is that if you buy directly from like, say my website, or maybe you message me on social media, this is my Instagram. If you message me on social media or you bought through my website, I'm going to, one, the, the price of the artworks is probably gonna be lower. Well, it will be lower, I can tell you that. So like stuff that I have listed here is gonna be cheaper than what you see on Saatchi Art because of the commission. But if I don't have to pay anyone commission, I can offer lower prices. Uh, second, since I'm also not paying a commission, I also get more of the sale itself. So it's kind of a win-win. If you buy directly from an artist by, you know, maybe you just message them on, maybe they don't have a website and you can only get through to them on social media. You could always send them a message, hey, how can I buy your work? I really like it. Or do you do this type of work? So on and so forth. You can at least reach out to them through you know, a social media account like Facebook or Instagram or something like that. Um, but if you buy it through the website, then they're probably going to make more per sale through the website um, just because they're not paying someone else a commission. And also, you know, you're directly supporting them and, uh, you know, what they do as an artist. So honestly, it's, it's totally your call. But if you were looking to buy artwork, my, my overall, let's say, boil down suggestion um, if you're going to buy a painting online 
is to really go to an online gallery website, go to Saatchi Art or Art Finder or Zatista, some other website, whatever you want to do. I would recommend Saatchi Art, but that's only because I've used them and I can vouch for them. But anyway, go to a set like this, start searching for what you're looking for. If you want an abstract or a landscape or surrealist painting or whatever you want, start looking for that and really narrow it down to get an idea of some artists that you might want to you know, work with or buy artwork from. Then kind of look at their stuff, maybe go on their social media or website to kind of see some of the work they've done um, or you know, to learn more about them. And then that way you kind of have an idea of that person. Maybe try to reach out to them and talk to them um, before you buy that artwork just to get an idea of who they are or what their work looks like. And then once you have that, 